to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. So we have people who never are able to experience the fullness of the life and the power of God. There are many believers who are poor, who are broke, who are struggling, and yet they study all the time that the blessings of Abraham belong to them. The Bible says, Galatians chapter 3 and verse 29, it says, And if ye be Christ, then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So there is no confusion that we are partakers of the blessing that is upon Abraham and his seed, that seed being Christ. But just because that is a reality, it does not mean that you walk in the fullness of it automatically no jesus said if it is true that you are the children of abraham you will do the works of abraham the works of abraham refer to the participatory conditions that he met for that blessing to be actualized in his life so we there are so many things we continue to claim we continue to claim we continue to claim and yet our lives remain, we remain victims of situations and circumstances. Oh, I know in the name of Jesus, I am all right. And yet things are clearly showing you are not all right. I am favored and there's no iota of favor for decades. I'm moving forward and all we see is retrogression. Let God be true and all men liars. So when we teach the principles of the kingdom, we teach them because those realities are already finished. Access does not mean experience. Listen carefully. There is a difference between access and experience. What Jesus did on the cross gives us access. Our faith, the participatory action that we take makes it our experience. Forever, O oh Lord, thy word is settled, not in your life, in heaven. It takes faith and the operation of the principles of the kingdom to make it settled in your life. If you are learning something this morning, say amen. amen. So we must open up our hearts on the strength of everything that Christ has done. And the realities that have been purchased, the possibilities that the believer, the believer can step into now on account of Christ's finished work. That is what we call grace. Grace is not just unmerited access. Uh -uh. Grace refers to the storehouse, the compendium of everything that makes God, God. Power is grace. Mercy is grace. Anointing is grace. Wisdom is grace. Grace refers to that central storehouse that contains every possibility that is in God given to the believer only through the office and the person of the Christ. Grace gives you access, but faith, and faith there does not just mean confession. The entire participatory process of a believer that shows your obedience to the principles connected to that promise. So for every dimension of God's grace, listen carefully, there is a mystery connected to it. If it is speed, if it is restoration, if it is favor, are we together now? If it is the anointing, if it is influence, all of these possibilities are true in Christ. But for every one of these possibilities, there are mysteries and keys that connect them. Merely claiming the results without understanding the principles that lead to that outcome will be self-deception. And this is sadly the state of many believers today. Just because you saw the promised land does not mean you are in it. 
you can see it and yet never step into it are we together in John chapter 3 when you read John chapter 3 from verse 3 now it was a conversation between Jesus and Nicodemus he came to him by night and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him verse 3 Jesus answered and said unto him verily verily I say unto you except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of God and Nicodemus answered and said how can a man be born when he is old can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born verse 5 Jesus now uses another expression Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born of water uh -huh, and the spirit, he cannot enter. There is seeing the kingdom and there is entering the kingdom. You can see the kingdom and yet never enter into that experience. John 10.10 10 says, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill and to destroy. Jesus said, but I am come, verse 10, that ye may have life. And that you may have that life more abundantly. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 18. Inasmuch as Apostle John had told us that we are recipients of eternal life. Is that true? He told us that we have the life of God. But here Paul is mentoring the church in Ephesus. And he's teaching them something about the administration of the life of God. He says having their understanding darkened. Being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them. Because of the blindness of their heart. They are not able to step into the full potential of this life that they claim to have. Because of ignorance and blindness. Is God speaking to us? So believers, hear me. It takes knowledge. It takes understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom to actualize every reality that is meant for the believer in Christ. Merely believing that just because he did it, it is over, is deception. I repeat, merely believing that just because it is finished in Christ, you do not have any participatory role, is deception. Hallelujah. Amen. So here we are talking about the mystery that opens gates. And we see from Acts chapter 12 that the church prayed. They began to pray and they prayed without season. Listen carefully. They prayed without season. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17, please. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 17 first thessalonians 5 and verse 17 read with me god's people one to read pray without ceasing one more time one more time pray without ceasing does not mean pray from morning till night you will be an irresponsible believer if you do that it means be consistent in your prayer life be consistent the idea is that of consistency be consistent in your prayer life James chapter 5 and verse 13 Apostle James again was teaching us buttressing on the ministry the priesthood ministry of prayer he said every time a believer finds out that there is anything that represents an affliction in your life your first part of call as a believer is let him pray you sense that doors are closed towards you. You sense that gates are closed. You know that prophecy does not seem to find the kind of expression in your life. He says to pray. Submit yourself to that prayer ministry. And stay there until those gates are opened. Prayer is powerful. It is God's recommended key that opens gates. From Acts chapter 12, we see that two strategic gates were opened. And all of them were opened by consistency. 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 The prayer of the saints made the gates of the prison to be opened. The persistent knocking of Peter made the other gates that led to his rest to be opened. Matthew 7, 7. 
Ask and it shall be given you. It's a law. These are spiritual laws that provided you ask, there is a guarantee that it will be given to you. Next instruction, seek. And it leaves you with an assurance that you shall find. And then number three, it says knock. And it shall be opened unto you. Next verse, for everyone. Everybody say everyone. This is not an assurance just to men of God. This is not just to those in ministry. There are blessings that are for everyone. For everyone that asketh will receive. Everyone that seeketh. And everyone that knocks, it shall be open. For as long as you knock, it shall be open. For as long as you knock, it shall be opened. For as long as you knock, it shall be opened. Can I tell you this? There are victories in the life of every believer you see. There are gates, prisons of witchcraft, mediocrity. And it looked like no one would lift up his head. But in that family, you will usually find one person who will be tired one day and say, this pattern and this trend must end. And they may not have anyone on studying the Bible consistently. And just, I'm tired, I'm doing it, I'm not gaining anything. But I continue to be consistent. While I'm consistent in the name of the Lord, the dimension of the Holy Spirit that operates as the spirit of revelation is being attracted by my consistency. Who is this that is always opening scripture? One day I will open that Bible and from that day it will not just be you reading again. This is how it is with the spirit of prayer and supplication. You can go to prayer and after five minutes you think you've done one hour and you check your watch You say, no, this watch is not working. All this time, five minutes, no way. Hmm. Has that happened to you? I like this church. You don't tell lies. You prayed, sang, danced, and everything was under five minutes. And you vowed that day that you do three hours. Ah! Now you are calculating and wondering what in the world. And then you pray again. And then you pray again. And then you pray again. And you just think you are praying in the flesh until one day you stand there to pray and it becomes a vigil, only you. That day is not you again. That is the kind of grace that comes upon you that even while you are sleeping, as you turn to the left, you are sleeping. You are not even aware. Let me tell you this. Where you see ease there is a spirit supplying it when you see ease 
it is because that person through the frequency, the, the law of consistency has attracted a spirit dimension. If a young man keeps stealing and is under the influence of his spirit, let me tell you how much he will steal. He will steal in a way that even if you hide the money under a carpet, he will stand there and just go and raise the carpet. He does not even know what is leading him. Have you seen people like that? You will hide anything anywhere. He just looks as if he's joking because he's under the influence of a spirit he does not know. It's the same way you can be under the spirit of the grace for favor and you just stand and say no I need to go to this person's house just when you get there that's when your destiny helper is arriving and people ask you how come you get things so accurately it is because you are under the influence of a spirit so let me teach you something about prayer when you hear that the early church prayed without ceasing, no human being sustains the power in the flesh to be consistent in prayer. Prayer is, a, is labor. Except you've not really prayed. Hallelujah. But when that spirit of prayer and supplication comes upon you, you pay attention and begin to pray. Do you know the mistake of Jacob in Genesis 28? He saw angels ascending and descending, but they were never coming to him. They were going to those who were calling for their ministry. That was why he was angry. How could that be so close to an encounter? And then the angels were sent. The Bible never said they brought any message to him. Even though he had the voice of God, but he did not have any, he did not benefit anything. And he said, the Lord was in this place and I knew not. The next time, he did not let God go. 32, Genesis. I made that mistake once, I will not make it again. Leave me for the day break yet. He said, I will not let you go unless you bless me. Listen to me. Believers, we do not know the power that has been given to us in prayer. And the, the omnipotence of prayer when it is accurately administered, you can swing gates open. The average believer thinks he's so weak when you don't have physical cash or when you don't have a political title. You see that now? Our sociological context has indoctrinated us into believing we are just masses. We are just a flock. You read your Bible and see what ordinary men did through prayer. Elijah, the Bible says, was a man of like passion. He was hungry. He went to toilet, just like any other person. But the Bible says that he prayed earnestly, earnestly. The key word there, earnestly, that there be no rain. Notice in all this prayer, the prayer points were consistent. Not this today and that tomorrow. Peter should be delivered. That was a prayer point. They stayed there until he was delivered. When Peter was knocking, he didn't follow the window and knock. He stood at that one door and knocked till that very door opened. The challenge with many believers is that we do not have the staying power. The ability to stay through and pray until you see the answer to your prayer. After three days, we route through another thing again. For everyone that knocketh, that door, that gate shall be opened. It was the consistency of the believers around Jericho. Why would God tell them to move once every day? Look how frustrating that is. I'm walking around Jericho. No noise. Nothing. I hope you know that Jericho was a city. Jericho was like Abuja. So when he said they went round, don't think it was just one small shop that they just went round in two minutes. When you go around Jericho, even you, you ask God, am I going to do this for six days? Do you not see that spiritual things require consistency? Elijah washed seven times. God, you are powerful. What is in the number? If he had washed six times, he would have left leprous. Six and then took the water the seventh time and just rubbed on his head. He was supposed to go in seven times. And even at the sixth time, there was no sign of healing. It was until he completed that seventh time. Now watch this. Imagine that God gives you an instruction 
to go around Abuja once every day from now till next week. I know when we read it, we think it's just a city with a fence that they just went round and no noise. So the six local governments in this city, down from Guagualada, what's the other part after Guagualada? Abaji. Going round there, down near Karu, you turn and by evening you are around angry and exhausted. And God says, rest quickly in the morning, you are starting again. But while that was happening, in, they did not know what was happening in the eyes. Siba, the way spiritual things work, five minutes to their manifestation, it will still look like defeat. Whereas you have finished, you have they scattered Jericho from the realm of the spirit. The shout was just a system to sink that building down. Consistency. So every day while you are praying, you hold hands with your wife. It's like a register you are signing. Next week, many of us today love God because of our mother's prayers and fasting. For 20 years, they did the same thing. Some of them even had the same position where they knelt and they prayed. They prayed that God will find you. And one day in your rebellion, you just loitered around the crusade and stood there just to check for five minutes looking for your friend and fire from heaven fell upon you there because everyone that asked received. Can I tell you this? Satan is the master of the flesh realm, the sense realm. And so he can make you believe that the investments of prayer you are making is not bringing any result. The Bible says the word is quick and powerful. I've been praying over this issue for one month. Just when you are two days left for victory, you retreat. You know your answer is almost there when the frustration becomes highest. It's an agitation from hell. It's one of the ways you know seasons are about to open. There is a heightened level of frustration. Everybody is annoying you. Your husband annoying you, your wife annoying you, everything annoying you. When that happens, keep at it. It's a sign to frustrate your consistency. Believe me, I know what I'm saying. Father, build your church. Bring revival upon this city. Church history is full of men and women who seem powerless but they prayed. Men like John Knox who used prayer to overturn Scotland. Most of the evangelists who had gone to be with the Lord now, before they would go for a crusade in any city, there would be at least three months of fire from intercessors. They had a band of intercessors who would pray they would usually carry the map of the city where they are going to and drop it on their prayer altar. And they are praying everywhere. Zika, Boske, Dabalata, the powers that hold the destinies of people, the powers from the second heavens. When they finish that, their equipments can now go before them. And it's not the day they stand on that crusade ground that the sick are healed. They finished it since. They only came to manifest. War betides a man who uses the stage for rehearsal. The stage is not the place for rehearsal. Whenever God wants to build you, he will take you behind the stage and that's where you make the prayer investment. You don't stand on stage and that's when you are trying to learn about anointing and power. You are joking. Go and do your homework. When you come out, then you are ready for action. There are gates, hear me, that refuse to open for your father. He knocked it all through his lifetime. It did not open. Refused to open for your mother. And they all step back. Now God is raising you. Let me tell you what to do. I know what you do. Do what they did not do. They prayed only for two weeks and gave thanks and went back. But for you, hold on to the horns of that gate. 
and say, I have come with grace from heaven. Zino kaparus kata brandege de balakata. What is this pattern of barrenness in this family that will not lead? What is this? Marriages don't seem to work. Everybody returns back to their father's house, minus me. And not only me, I'm not just here to open this gate, I'm here to scatter it so that anybody, see, if it opens for you, they can close it again. But when you scatter the gates, everybody behind you can pass. Can I tell you this? It was Bishop David Oedeku who said, no matter how mad a man is, he will not enter fire by mistake. He can be mad enough to misbehave, but set fire, and there will be a level of decorum and behavior. He makes his angels wings and his ministers flames. One thing I know about fire is that there is no metal it cannot melt. No, if fire refines gold, what else? Exact fire upon that gate, exact fire upon that altar. And watch what I'm telling you believers don't pray, we lament, we close the door and roam around, but we do not engage with the spirit. You are not praying blandly. There are forces that stop helpers from coming to your life. There are forces just when they're about to sign something that becomes an open door. These forces use men and systems and structures. Lift up your head, O ye gate. It's not just a pronouncement. There is an activity that you must engage in. Prayers was made by the church for Peter. Prayers was made by the church over the areas of your life. There are areas that if you sit down and allow the devil to keep oppressing you, let me tell you this, Satan is a determined person. He would destroy anything you allow him to destroy. When it was time for the nation of Israel to leave, they said, we will allow you go, but keep your wives behind and keep your children. Moses said, I didn't hear you well. Everybody, everybody and everything. I'm not going to live with my health and leave my finances behind. Everything. I'm not going to live with my character and leave my influence behind. Everything must move forward. Hear me, brothers and sisters. By the grace of God and by the privilege of God's mercy, I am a testament of what prayer can do. No, until you get, you take your prayer life seriously, you will see cheap victories in the spirit. You will shift systems and structures and align men and things to line up purposes of God. Awake, thou that sleepest. This spiritual slumber and laziness is why gates continue to look as though they are strong. This morning for a few minutes, I want us together as a coordinated army to scatter some gates in this place. Mm. Gates of delay. Gates of shame and influence. Look at me. Please listen. Just help those under the anointing. Listen, there are people who are victims of these prisons that Peter was in. It is the women that feed the men where you come from. No matter how responsible they are, they go to America for 10 years and return back like they've never left their village. What of those who rise just when they get to the place where they should sit down, they come down in shame. They never come down normally. Don't say it does not matter. No. The one person that becomes the breadwinner. I remember one time something happened to a dear woman, her only son, responsible gentleman. He finished with first class. He was returning back home. 
and he had a ghastly mortal accident, died in that instance. Don't tell me that is the will of God. I hope you know these gates we talk about, they are mobile. They are not just in one place. They look for wherever you are and come and stand in front of you. Oh, I want to help you. Where are you from? You look like you are my relative. Yes, sir. Meet me at the office tomorrow and those kids come and stand. By the next day, you go to the office and say, I can't remember, where did I meet you? And you are wondering what is going on. Some of you have been in this city for more than one decade. And yet, the gates in the city have refused to open for you. Anything you do fails. You do business, it fails. You have been trying to build. You are still at the foundation level. When you were trying to build, the entire land around you was empty. Till today, you have not lifted it to Lintel level. Help them, please. Just help those under the anointing. Listen. I know this by the Spirit. Please give me volume, Elijah. We are going to pray. This is a conference. We will take out time. The Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. While you are praying, don't pray for yourself alone. Think of your children, born or unborn. Lord, let me pass through this once and for all so that everybody behind will not have to go through that shame. In one minute, I'd like you to open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Please pray. Pray. Walk around. Pray. Be serious. Pray. Pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Are you ready to pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. By the blood of the eternal covenant. By the blood of the eternal covenant. Every gate. Every gate. Standing my way. Standing my way. Standing in front of my path. Standing in front of I my path. I clear you by the blood of the Lamb. Lift your voice the and land. begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Every gate. We clear you. We clear every you. We clear you. Gate. Every gate. Gates of oppression. Gates of oppression. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Please, if you can, pair yourselves into two. You're married, find your wife or find your husband or find anybody close to you. You are going to pray. Every gate standing in front of our home, it doesn't matter how long, by the blood of the co eternal covenant, we command those gates be destroyed. Lift your voice and pray. We decree and declare. In the name of Jesus, every gate, are you praying? 
Every gate. Pray for the person who stands for In the name of Jesus. Amen. First Thessalonians 2.18. We are still praying. My God, there's fire in this place. First Thessalonians 2.18. 18. Please read with me, everyone. One to read. Wherefore, we would have come to you, even I, Paul, once and again, but Satan hindered us. Your favor is speaking. Since January, I've been looking for you, but there has been a hindrance. Your lifting is speaking. I desire to come to you. Are you ready to pray? Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every demonic hindrance. Every demonic hindrance. Stopping prophecy. Stopping prophecy. Stopping my blessings. Stopping my blessings. From reaching me. From reaching me. This day, this day, I declare, I declare those powers are destroyed. Those powers Lift are your destroyed. voice and begin to pray. Jesus, I declare every gate, every hindrance. In the name of Jesus, lift your hands. We are still praying. Just lift your hands. I'm seeing chains on the feet of like four or five people. I'm stretching my hands now. These chains, these things have to do with ancestry. They have tied some of you so that you will not move forward. Right now, fire. Fire. Fire from heaven. I don't know who that person is. But in the name of Jesus, anyone here? Who is a victim? Help them. Makatos ketetea. Maretos kija. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Bring them out. We are praying. Shabakata bakata. Every chain. Chains of ancestry, witchcraft, orchestrations of darkness, ill speakings of men, be broken. Shalika parakatosia, embrekete skatebekata, 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We are still praying. The Lord is telling me to release people here who have been victims of delay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everybody moves except you. I'm praying now. Please help those people because when I pray, some of you are standing in for your families. Enough is enough. Here at this conference, it's time for gates to be open. I declare at the count of three, Lord, anyone here at World Alive who is a victim of any kind of delay, at the count of three, I want all of you to shout the name Jesus. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus. Delay be broken. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. Shanakata, gates of delay, gates of delay, gates of delay, be broken, be broken. Shanakata, gates of delay, gates of delay, be broken, a secret in Hallelujah. Was he praying? Look at me. The Lord wants to destroy patterns. It happened to your father. Now it's happening to you. It happened to your mother. Now it's happening to you. By the blood of the eternal covenant, we have an advantage. Are you ready to pray? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every pattern. Every pattern. Following me. Following me. I declare. I declare. By the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. You are broken now. You are broken. Lift your voice and pray. You are broken. You are broken. Lift your voice and pray. Shakala baba do seri. Ikala baba do le baba seket setene. Ebre chote do sule baba da. Shale baba baba da baba da. Ikala baba do seri. 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 Patterns of failure. Patterns of poverty. Patterns of death. Shall <laughs> In the name of Jesus. Amen. Isaiah 60 verse 11. Isaiah 60. Read with me everybody by faith. Let this be a prophetic word for you. Are you ready? One to read. Therefore thy gate shall be open continually. They shall not be shot day, day or night that men may bring unto me the forces of the Gentiles. And that their kings may be blessed. Listen, one more time you are going to read it. But personalize it as a prophetic yes, word. Yes, are you ready now? Yes, One to read. Therefore, my gates shall be, shall be open continually. continually. They, they shall, shall not be shot day or night that men may bring unto me the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought to me. Hallelujah. Pastor, sir, please, if you will allow me, 
Le I want a few ministers prophetically. Please station them just as a point of contact. If you can stand just at the front of the gates of your church here, just prophetically while we pray. Maybe some of the people holding the mic, Shock just one, up. just prophetically, just stand at that place. Thank you. We are praying. We want to speak over this church that everyone connected to the grace upon this man. Yes, sir. This must be your season Allah. for these gates to be open. Amen. Please position yourself there. We are going to pray. Yes, sir. Are you ready now? Yes, sir. Now everyone, we are going to pray that every gate that has refused to open yes, sir. so that helpers will come into your life every gate that has refused to open so that your influence will manifest we are declaring over your life and over what are life are you ready now yes. say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus we decree and declare we decree and declare as members of this commission of this commission we stand and we declare, and we declare, word alive, word alive. Your gates, your gates are open, are open continually, continually, bringing influence, bringing, bringing wealth, bringing, wealth bringing, increase. bringing increase. Lift your voice and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus. Father, word alive. Your gates are open continually. The gates of word alive are open continually. Bringing men, bringing influence, bringing resources, bringing. There is a grace for speed. There is a grace for speed. You write this down. You will marvel and wonder and see the way God will begin to honor men to testify in this assembly. Hallelujah. That doors just begin to open. But I want to release that grace as we pray. Please don't be distracted. Father, I stretch my hands. Standing in faith with your choice servant, Reverend Godwin Abba. We declare in the name of Jesus Christ that anyone here who must drink of this oil and this grace at the count of three right now, let speed, speed upon your life. One, two, three. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Take that grace. Help them, please. Take that grace. Speed. Speed of accomplishment. Take that grace. Speed in business. Speed in ministry. Speed. 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 I prophesy. I declare. Help them. Help them. Please help them. Speed. Whether you're an usher or not, just help them. I declare speed. What a life. Speed. 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 Speed in career. Speed in your spiritual advancement. Ten years in one year. 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 Please look up. We're almost rounding up. 
Now, look up, please. The Bible says Peter came out of the gate, the prison that made for captivity. But when he now came to the place of rest, he knocked and they refused to open. Are you ready to pray? There are times that you may not have the power to open the gate. You only have the power to knock. It will take somebody already inside yes, to open for you. Yes, Are you. Listen. Joseph had the ability to interpret dreams. But he did not have the ability to bring himself out to stand before the king. He had to depend on someone who you are going to do it. But you are going to speak to your north, wherever north is. Turn to the south, turn to the east, turn to the west. Of Abuja and any territory, I'd like you to prophesy that anyone ordained by God in this season to hold your hand, yes, wherever they are, yes, compel their ministry. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Stretch your hands, prophesy to the north. Stretch your hands, prophesy to the south. Stretch your hands, prophesy to the east. Stretch your hands, prophesy to the west. Locate me. My destiny help us. Locate me. My destiny help us. Locate me. Shabado, Lagada, Ruta Sata, the good Nicky Maru Maya, the Shara of Alegria, Lucano de Rosi Pretada, the Calabaro Sacandari, Maya Bahado, Ido, the Connette de Sutelebo, the Lepre to see Calabasha, and the Sacatiano, the Legado Shabadia Oriano, the Contalinos Icada, the Le Tuavalesi, the Lira Terida, Shababa. Que monte de Suria Marina, me libre tu sacada, la cachón de la mapondo con Suria Valeta, mata capaya baja, my destiny help us locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me, locate me from every direction, in the name of Jesus, mande que son de Mario, es salada, es salada, es salada. Eshalada, 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 Look up. I want to teach you something. Look at me, everybody. A time came in my life, prayed with all my heart. Listen carefully. And the Lord led me to a scripture that I want to lead you to now. Acts chapter 10 and verse 4. Acts chapter 10. Certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. These two things, his giving and his prayer. He saw in a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God. God coming to him and saying unto him, Cornelius, verse 4. 
when and when he looked on him, he was a come up as a memorial. Listen, I can tell you. in hand with stamp of the enemy. Now listen to me. This is no manipulation at all. Your pastor is a man of integrity. But I love you too much to not tell you the whole truth. There are gates. There are prayer goes along with a level and a measure of sacrifice. That he, and it was a sacrifice. I had been praying God had helped me. But I knew that it was time to break some territorial doors. sacrifice by the privilege of God's grace I was able to go it was there are sacrifices that when they leave you you too you know this is Isaac not Ishmael remember when I came out to enter the car so I would come out of that vehicle and it said I should place my hand on the ground, on Canaan land, on the ground there. I placed my hand on that ground and the Lord spoke to me. Increase and favor upon my life. You've heard my stories. And, and see They wanted to buy sugar cane. I wanted to buy it too. And I said, Mama, no, you are my mother's. Let me honor you. And I paid for them. And they kept blessing me. Listen, my dear. people seeds and sacrifice imbalances here in the body of Christ people have taken advantage of people but anybody who truly loves you and is teaching you the warfare dimension of A morning session we're wrapping up you have prayed most of you here God has brought victories for you I want to challenge you you know me I'm not I'm not the kind of person who agree with God that Lord I'm coming with a sacrifice not a seed But you must tie any unfavorable thing you are some causes on it. They are dropping that seed to kill that season. When you carry it, you don't allow the season die. You carry that. That's what happened for somebody. Who seasons in my life and I've introduced certain seasons of favor and you have seeds now of sacrifice I will start I'm the, I'm the first who 
who is that? Some of you are following online and you are saying, Apostle, I am tired. But I'm telling you, if it is levels of increase that you want to step into, sincerely, you will marvel and wonder at what happens to you. This is true. Are we together? I'm going to speak over you. Go ahead, you can do that during this. Maybe the last session tomorrow. There are offering baskets here. Let me request, please. Those of you following online or some of you are here, there is a church account. Be careful, take moments like this. of people you will find all these funny people doing all kinds of things online Lord I want to end seasons in my life I'm going to pray for you if you will not redeem it don't write anything don't say I'm coming to give God 10 naira and just be emotional and don't do what you are doing just emotionally no, but I stand by the God of heaven and I tell you sincerely, if you dare to honor the Lord with your sacrifice, I'm going to speak over your life. Some of you, it will, it will not be more than one week before you see the strange things that God does in your life. Are you ready? So maybe in, I'll, how do we do it now? I'll give you two minutes, two minutes. If you have a seat here and you are saying, Lord, I am ending in my life. There, can we use these this offering baskets? Okay. There are two offering baskets here. You can leave your seat. Hold on, please. And okay, there are other people holding seats here. You come and drop them. And if you are using the account, use the account. If it's a pledge between you and God, whatever it is, please do not do this emotionally. We are people who fear God. One day we'll stand before God and we'll be judged. Are we together? But I want you to release your faith and I want to pray with you in the next two minutes. If you are coming out, come out now. God bless you. Oh, your lead. in front I believe they have come if there's no space you can just stand at the aisles I've cried some are currently in debt some are standing here with all kinds of issues maybe legal issues Lord you will honor your word right now I stand in faith with the angel over this house and his I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus Christ by your prayer and your sacrifice I so break through Mahashkadabala, new seasons of favor. Prophecy and I collide. I call it back to your life. 
your life in the name of Jesus Christ. And hear me. Everyone here who is using this seed to break cycles that you saw in your family, patterns that you saw in the life of those who have gone ahead of you, I stand by faith and in the habakata kato bakata lekata kata brekata ke pro shoto berekota embreke teke teke ta shada kata balakata embreke ke poroko topa in the name of Jesus those cycles are broken now those cycles are broken now those cycles are broken now cycles of cycles of poverty and hardship. circles of servitude in the name of Jesus be broken now and right now we command may those gates swing may they open tita and hither in the name of Jesus Christ father honor the seeds and the sacrifices of your people may it rise as a supernatural incense Satan by this sacrifice we put a sanction and we decree and declare that you have no legal access to the lives the finances the destiny in name i pray amen drop your seed with thanksgiving quickly and return back you can drop it in the offering bag Ask at the altar anyway. Just make contact and please return back to your seat as we prepare. We are still praying. Again, the account details are on the screen. For those, I don't know if there is a domiciliary account for homes. Please, very quick prayer points, and we're done. Please rise up on your feet. We'll soon wrap up. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are in the morning. I will learn to walk in your ways. For step by step, you lead me. And I will follow you all of my days. Listen, there's no time to turn to the scripture, but pay attention. When Joshua received his commissioning from God, he told him he was going to take Jericho. But before then, two things happened. And I want to introduce them quickly and we'll pray. The first thing that happened was he needed a strategy for the defeat of Jericho. The defeat of Jericho. He would not use his own formula to bring down the gate and even the walls of Jericho. And so the first assignment God gave him 
was circumcise yourselves. Look up please everybody. Listen carefully. He said some of you who came out, there was a generation of the men who came out that were not circumcised. You cannot attract the backing of heaven, he was telling Joshua. Therefore, get knives, circumcise yourselves. You want heaven to reveal the strategy to bring down the gates and the wall. It is not without a circumcision. And when he said that Joshua gathered the men and all of them as a people, they circumcised themselves. And whilst they circumcised themselves, they stayed there until they were healed. Suddenly, a being came and said, Joshua, now that you have fulfilled the law of circumcision, you are ready to receive the strategy. This will be the strategy. Go around Jericho seven times, once every day. And on the seventh day, you will go around with the ark in front of you. And then you will raise a shout. Let me tell you this. There is a reason why many people do not experience the backing of heaven to come and reveal prophetic strategies that make for destiny. It is because many times that circumcision, circumcision is a painful process, whether for children or adults. Is that true? Yes, sir. The cutting away of the flesh. Seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, he says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us. And let us run with perseverance the race that is set before us, it says. Looking up to Jesus who is the author, the finisher of our faith. Who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross and even despised the shame. You cannot do God and something else. No. No. You can't have one arrow in your house that was given to you from the village and add it and combine it with God. You cannot want the blessings of God and you are playing pranks in the office and so on. Don't feel offended. There has to be a determination for that circumcision. The cutting away of everything you know that sustains the ability to drive away the backing of heaven. If heaven does not back you, there cannot be the strategy. Men reign and they dominate in this kingdom on the strength of the strategies they receive from heaven. Whether for ministry, whether for business, including idol worshippers. They go through the requisite levels of sacrifices and then spirits come and back them. You're going to pray a prayer of genuine rededication. And say, Father, my life and all that my destiny is about is about Jesus, Jesus only, Jesus ever. You remain my priority. Everything that is not you, I cut it away from my life. Don't say I've been born again for 10 years. That's not what I'm asking you. Are you ready now? In one minute, cry your heart and say, Father, I cut away. Let there be that circumcision. Let there be that genuine circumcision. Please pray. Those following online, pray that same prayer. That circumcision by the Spirit. Relationships. One minute you are praying to the God of your salvation. It is all about you and only about you, Jesus. nothing you can't do oh Lord my eyes are on you be magnified oh
pledge allegiance to the Lamb. With all my heart, with all I am, I will seek to honor His command. I pledge allegiance. If there is anybody here under the sound of my voice, I do not want to take for granted that even though we've all prayed a prayer of rededication and consecration, there might be one or two people here who are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus, but I've not won that war. I cannot say for sure that things are all right between me and Jesus. Before we pray the final prayer, no matter where you are, do not be ashamed to win that war. Or you are saying, Apostle, I know that I need a new and a fresh walk with Jesus. You have one minute wherever you are. I'd like you to leave your seat with boldness and confidence. Please come and stand before me here. Don't wait for someone to be the first. This is a family of faith. Welcome. The Lord is calling you. What a life. Let's celebrate them as they come. Come to Jesus. I'll just count one to four. Two. Don't be ashamed. Win that war. Stand before him. Come, please. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me. The cross before me. No turning back. No turning back. I salute you, my dear brothers and sisters, for making this bold decision. The Bible declares that everyone who will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. I salute you for the confidence and the courage. Some of you are crying. Don't be ashamed of your tears. The Bible declares, I have loved you with an everlasting love and I have drawn you with my loving kindness. I want you to lift your right hand before Jesus, who is our Lord and Savior. And I want you to say this after me. Let it be from the depth of your heart. You're not reciting a poem. Say, Lord Jesus, I come before you just as I am, I declare that I am unable to help myself, but I believe that you died for me. This afternoon, I declare that you are my Savior, you are my Lord, and you are my King. I receive eternal life ah, into my spirit. I receive the gift of righteousness and the abundance of grace I reign as a Christian I reign as your child the power of sin don't be ashamed of your tears is broken over my life forever I declare that I belong to Jesus I go forward ever and backwards never amen let me pray for you Father, we present to you these ones as a trophy. When you hung upon the cross, you saw all of us together. We were worth your death. We were worth. Now we have come to you to present these ones. They have become part of this family of faith. By the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven. And I declare that the Lord gives you a new beginning. You are partakers of the life of God. I commend you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit and the ministry of the word. I decree and declare that you will rise to the fullness of your prophetic destinies. I bless you. You go forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. All right, please, all of you in front, just look at me. Congratulations to you. Please, there's a counselor waving his hands. The man of God is waving his hands. All of you in concert, let's celebrate them as they go.
a group of people will talk to you and you'll be back to your seat. Hallelujah. Last prayer and then we're done. I'd like you to pray and say, Father, as proof that every closed gate has been opened over my life, give me testimonies between today and tomorrow. Release your faith and pray. Lift your voice. As proof that these gates have been opened and my glory is ready to be revealed. It says, Thou, O Lord, that a shield for me, you are my glory, even the lifter of my head. Lord, give me a token. Give me a sign in the name of Jesus. Give me a sign. In the name of Jesus Christ. Before I get to my seat, I want to encourage you, please do well to participate in every session left and let's release our hearts. Make whatever sacrifice you need to make, especially if you are not a frequent um, member in this church. For the sake of this conference, obtain grace to finish strong. Let's stand together and push as the balance of what God began to do in our lives that he will not only start but finish with us. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you in Jesus' name. Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.